Hey everybody, this is Laura and welcome to my channel. I've got a memory plan with you for the week of January 11th through the 17th. I am using this Scribble Prince Co. kit and it was her October mystery kit. Um, I've mentioned this before. I do not subscribe to her mystery kits, but I do follow the Buy Sell Trade group on Facebook and people will post on there um, if they're selling it. And so I usually try to pick up some of the mystery kits that I love once they show up on there. Um, this one, I did not have glitter headers with it. I don't know if the person who sent it to me just forgot. Because they usually do come with it. So I'm not sure, but... I had to go into my stash and I had some really old Scribble Prints Co. glitter headers that I think came with like a, as like one of those like rack bags and then um, some silver ones that had the whole full glitter header sheet with the flags, um, little quarter boxes and things like that. That was just completely silver. So I added that in because I didn't have enough colors to kind of match. Um, this kit was pink, purple, and then like a dark blue and a light blue. So the headers don't match super well. I mean, I think the purple is actually pretty spot on, but the other ones are close enough. And then I used the sticky essential um, hollow kind of sparkle underlays. I've used them a lot this winter because I think it looks like snow <laughs> to me. So it's really cute and dainty. Um, I didn't film. I put down a lot of hollow foil this week over the full boxes and then for date covers. So you should be able to see that once I go into the day by day. But foil takes forever so I don't like filming it and I was struggling again for the full boxes I wanted to see if I had a quote which I don't know why <laughs> every single week I look and see if I have a quote box but I don't have quote boxes like I just don't I think I have a couple Halloween ones and like one Black Lives Matter one and they're all in black and that's it. But still every week I'm like, oh, maybe I should see if I have a random one here. So that's what I was doing. <laughs> that took so long. And then figuring out placement wise, um, where I wanted everything. I was kind of bummed out. I was hoping this week that we would be able to go ice skating. It's the week before I start school. And so I thought maybe we could have like a little date day and go ice skating because my boyfriend has been asking to go a lot. <laughs> um, I guess he's, I shouldn't say he's been asking. He's expressed interest that he would like to do that sometime. And I finally looked to see if we could go, but a lot of places that had rental skates were like completely reserved or there were just a lot that didn't have skates to rent and they're like almost impossible to find skates to buy right now. Um, just cause I think everybody's trying to do that here in Minnesota. It's like one of the few things you can do outside in the winter. Um, and then I also don't know if I would use them enough to like make it worth it to buy them so we didn't do that this week but this kit is still really cute wintry um kind of winter in the city vibe so I didn't mind that it like didn't completely match um let me know in the comments if you are the kind of person that likes to like match the theme with like what you're doing or if you just kind of do seasonal wise I think I'm more kind of a, if it matches the season, then I'm good. I don't really care if it necessarily matches what I'm doing, but it is kind of fun when it's like really, really matches like perfectly. Um, 
But let's see, what else can I talk about? Um, This week was the first week back at work. We opened up and I worked 40 hours this week, which I haven't done in quite a long time in the restaurant industry with since you have such weird hours it's kind of hard to get full time you have to be like working a lot like I only had one day off um and then I had one day where I worked all day so just because your shifts are kind of on the shorter side but yeah so (laughs) most of this week was just spent working so it's not super exciting um you can kind of see especially on like the quote box, um, full box, I put, um, some foil overlays. Um, I believe they're also from Scribble Prints Co. They're like a mixed hollow and sparkly hollow. And then, um, on ones where I didn't have like a full box overlay for it, they had some like sparkles. So I added some sparkles, like You can kind of see it on the sweater and the ice skates um, just to kind of make every box foiled. Um, On my sidebar, I've switched over to marking contacts. I had an eye infection a couple weeks ago and they expressed to me that I needed to get better about taking out my contacts at night and cleaning them. So I've been marking that in my sidebar because that's super important to me. And then I've been trying to mark skincare. I've been trying to work out more, even though I did not do it very much this week. Um, I've been getting a lot of like acne just from sweating and then wearing a mask Um, So I've been trying to take care of my skin, which didn't do too well this week either, but it's mostly because I didn't work out as much. So then I'm not sweating as much and making it gross. Then on the this week part, did my workouts and then marked work at the bottom. And then you could see there, I was just trying to put down the silver glitter flags that I had. I was going to use that to mark work this week and then I was debating if I wanted to use um, Coffee Monsters Co. has like these work flags that are like perfect to put right over um, the glitter flags but I thought it would be too much like open space next to it Uh, so I decided to do these Coffee Monsters Co. scripts instead and since I use such a large kind of (laughs) sticker and area to take up work I decided to put that in on all of the days so I could kind of figure out spacing wise how I wanted to do it Um, so on Monday I worked in the evening I was the closing bartender and I'll get caught up so don't worry about it. (laughs) Um, In the morning I painted my nails. I painted them pink for um, last week's plan with me. (laughs) They looked awful. Um, I've been wearing a lot of like glue on um, nails over quarantine time and for filming just so they look nice and they make your nails like really kind of brittle and there was still like glue residue on there so I had little tiny pink nails which were not my favorite I took the paint off for filming this because they were all chipped from work so I'm waiting for some of my like glue on nails to come in the mail and then I will have nicer nails for my next plan with me is hopefully but I used this Scribble Prince Co clip art of nail polish to mark in painting nails. Um, I really like saving all of the clip art from the kits because they're so versatile. I use a couple. I actually use quite a bit this week. Um, And then I didn't use any from the actual kit. It was all like hot chocolate and ice skates and like super pretty stuff. But I didn't do anything that like fit with it. So I'm going to save it all for for next time, which 
I love it. It's such a smart way to save money on stickers just by holding on to all the things that you get in your kits because they usually give you a lot of stuff. Um, this week I marked making cough, uh, ugh, I can't talk pots of coffee with this happy dia coffee sticker. I absolutely love it. And this week was fueled by coffee since, like I said, it was my first week back and I was definitely like out of the hang of working and I slept terribly this week. I don't know if it was just stress or if it was from all the caffeine or what was going on, but I just did not sleep well. But afterwards I filmed last week's plan with me and I marked that with a Coffee Monsters Co. emoji holding a YouTube play button. I did my lower body workout uh, and marked that with a paper and milk lifting sticker. It's my absolute favorite workout. It's by Fitness Blender. I think I've mentioned them before. And they have a static lower body um, video. If I remember, I'll link it down below. But it's, it kills your legs because you're doing like squats and then for 45 seconds. And then you're holding a squat position for 45 seconds. And then you're doing lunges and then holding them and deadlifts and then holding them. And the, just the fact that you're like holding those movements, um, really engages your core. It really, um, challenges your balance and your stability. And it just like burns <laughs> for your muscles. Like it's a different kind of workout. It kind of just like burns your muscles out way faster. Um, so definitely check it out. It's so good. Um, Tuesday, I had a meeting with my advisor at university. I had some questions for her about like my focus electives. I'm doing a sports management degree and they have specific courses you need to take. And then they call it focused electives of things that coincide with the degree, but you can kind of have you know, opportunities to pick and choose what you wanted. And I just wanted some clarity on if I should try and like get a minor or try and have them all kind of coincide with each other, or if I can just kind of dabble and, you know, do whatever looked interesting. So I marked that with that Scribble Prince Co. Like, um, it's technically like Andrea as a munchkin. That's all excited because it was a really good meeting and I made coffee beforehand. So I marked it the same way as Monday. Then I just did a couple like chores. So I marked in cleaning the litter box um, with this really cute litter sticker. I believe it's once more with love. Yeah, yeah, it definitely is. And then I marked my workout the same way with the same paper and milk sticker. This time it was an upper body. Um, I thought it worked the same way. I, I think I did a couple squats with like presses, so it worked for both, but it was another good workout. And I did that before going to work in the evening and I was closing manager. Um, a lot of times when I work at night, I don't do much else when I get home because I get home around like 10, 11 o'clock in the evening. So I usually just like settle down, maybe watch some TV or check my phone before going to bed. Um, Wednesday morning, I was super tired. I did not want to wake up and I had to work in the morning. So I used this like sleep mask. Um, that was also from a Scribble Prince Co. kit to mark in that I was super tired still. Then went into work and bartended in the morning. I used this Andrea Munchkin with a coffee to mark in that Ryan brought Starbucks to me when he came into work for the evening. So that was super sweet. Um, I got a cinnamon oat milk cold brew and it was actually super, super good. I was not expecting it. <laughs> um, and then worked more in the evening and then I used a freebie from... I 
wanna oh i can't remember who is from i want to say coffee monsters co but i'm not 100 percent. but it's like this nighttime owl on a laptop why can i not remember who it's from it's super cute um to mark in that i had to fix my plan with me from monday um thankfully i have this lovely girl who follows me on Instagram, her name is Sage, and she messaged me to tell me that I <laughs> uploaded the wrong video. I uploaded the one without my voiceover, without any editing. Um, so that was pretty embarrassing, but I stayed up late and got it fixed. So that is all good now. Um, Thursday was my only day off, so I marked it with this little day off pillow, which is super cute. I, n like, never use them because I feel like I never get a day off, but I actually got to sleep in a little bit this day, so that was nice. Um, and then our dog, Drew, had a grooming appointment this day, this happy diet um, sticker is so cute because Drew actually kind of looks like that when his hair <laughs> is super long. He's a Bichon uh, Shih Tzu mix, so he's adorable. So because he had a haircut that day and it takes like two, three hours, we decided to kill time and we went to the Mall of America since we live pretty close to it. Um, and I just went shopping. I used some Scribble Prints Co. clip art to mark each store that I went to. I went to Hot Topic to buy some new earrings. I have my ears gauged, um, so I had to buy some new, they call them plugs for them. If you don't know what that means, my like earring hole is stretched bigger so you can like see through it. Um, so yeah, I went there to get some new earrings and bought a couple t-shirts as well, a band tee and then an anime tee because I'm like an emo, like rock kid, like nerdy anime girl at heart. And then on my exterior, you like would not be able to know. So there's just a little background on me. <laughs> um, and then to go to the complete opposite side, we went to Banana Republic. Uh, my boyfriend Ryan is like a very like, I don't want to say preppy, but very like kind of typical like preppy white male. He came from a very conservative background. Um, so I've never shopped at Banana Republic before, but he has like had a bunch of rewards to spend there. He had like $70. And so he said I could use it. And I bought a couple like nice work shirts and like wool blazers there. And they had such a good sale. Like it was $240 like blazers that I ended up getting for 50 bucks. It was insane. So mark that with like a little tank top. That was a Scribble Prince Co. clip art. Then afterwards, we got some Buffalo Wild Wings since it was Boneless Thursday, and that's my boyfriend's favorite thing in the world. So I used this Hey Soul sticker wing to market. And that evening, I just kind of was a bum and like took a nap in bed and like moved on the couch and like watched stuff. Like, so I, I used this Pumpkin Paper Co. like cozy in bed sticker just to mark. I had a lazy day to try and like recover <laughs> but Friday I had like the worst sleep Thursday it was weird I don't know if it's because I took like a little nap but I just like kept waking up so I used this happy diet sticker to mark in terrible sleep and I do that again on Saturday because like I said just like it was not going well this week there was I don't know. I don't even know why. Like even as I'm recording this last night, wasn't the greatest sleep. I think I'm just like excited and stressed out about school starting and then getting back in the hang of going to work and being on a specific sleep schedule rather than having no reason <laughs> to get up is I think I'm struggling with it. 
but Friday I just kind of did some more chores. I hung some laundry and did the dishes and those are from Once More With Love and then Moon Babe Inquiry is the like little nasty dishes <laughs> soap sticker. It's super cute. And then I bartended that evening and came home from work to a little note from Ryan. I marked it with a happy dye sticker. Um, we had kind of had some talks the, the day before about us and everything. And he wrote me this super sweet note saying that, you know, he realized on Friday when I was gone at work, he was just thinking about it and knew he wanted to spend the rest of his life with me and wanted to start like thinking about, you know, marriage in the future and stuff like that. So he called it his like pre-proposal <laughs> note, which was really cute. And he bought me some flowers and yeah, it was just, like, a really good surprise to come home to. So, like, excited. It might not happen. It probably won't happen for a while. But it was just a, like, hey, let's start discussing and looking at things, which was pretty cool. He's a pretty sweet guy because I've never had a guy talk about commitment <laughs> like that before. They usually try and put it off. So he's he's a keeper. But... Um, Saturday again, I was super tired and I worked a lunch shift this day. So I stopped at Starbucks to pick up Ryan and I some coffee. I tried the pistachio latte and it was absolutely disgusting. So I will not get that again. I was super disappointed because I heard that it was like amazing, but it was just way too sweet for me. I don't know if it's because I've been just drinking coffee at home and getting cold brews that I'm like starting to like a lot more of like strong coffee tastes rather than like the super sweet drinks. So if you like super, super sweet, maybe you'd like it, but it was just, I was not a fan. But that evening we both had the night off, so we ordered some sushi for takeout, um, and that's a Coffee Monsters Co. sticker, which is super cute with the little heart eyes. Um, so we got, I got a bunch of sushi, he got some fried rice, and we just kind of like sat at home, binge ate a bunch of sushi, and watched RuPaul's Drag Race, which, oh, I love that show so much. It's amazing. And I like marking it with these really old Scribble Prints Co. lipsticks, because they kind of go with the show if you've never watched it um sometimes they vote with like lipsticks on their name and so it matches but I'm almost out of them so I need to find a new way to mark it because I don't know I take up a lot of space to mark it I don't like just putting it in a tv little thing it's like a big deal to watch it for me <laughs> um Sunday I was trying to like figure out spacing because Sunday was just kind of a weird day my brother dropped off a picture that he had that didn't fit in his new place, so he gave it to us, and I used a Scribble Prints Co. clip art to mark that. And then my mom <laughs> dropped off some contacts that she had ordered for me and just some, like, mail that I still had at our house. So I used a style planner contacts case to mark that. And then I took a nice, long, relaxing shower, um, and I used a Saucy Stickers Co. Um, face mask kind of shower sticker to mark that. I then went into work that evening, and it was just like, work this week had actually been really good. Like, I mean, Sunday was still good, too. But, like, people were very generous with their tips. Like, people were nice and just telling me how excited they were that we were opened up again. And even though it was, like, tiring, most of my shifts, like, were still, like, so good <laughs> where it was worth it. Um, but Sunday was just kind of, like, off. I was about to hit overtime. And... I was just like ready to go home and they would not let me leave. It was just like, 
I don't know, it was really, really weird situation. I don't know how else to describe it. If you haven't worked in the restaurant industry, it's kind of confusing, but yeah, they just kind of forgot about me and letting me go home. So I was just like aching to go and Ryan was super sweet and ordered some Pizza Hut because we haven't had that in a long time and I was craving pizza. So he ordered that so that it'd be ready when I got home. So I marked it with a Happy Daya pizza sticker and we just ate pizza and watched some friends and relaxed for the evening before he's, I'm doing my voiceover Monday, the day after this, he is working all day and I work after I'm done doing this. So we just kind of relax in the evening before our kind of long Monday. I was struggling to find a pizza sticker because I thought I had more than I did. I only found my Happy Dio one. And I've been trying to do a better job at like um, mixing up what... Um, what companies I use or brands or stores, shops. I don't know. Brand sounds weird. What shops I should use. And so I thought I had way more pizza stickers from other shops, but I couldn't find any. But this is the completed spread with all of its foil shiny goodness. <laughs> um, I absolutely love how it turned out. The colors are beautiful. And I did a little bit of a different handwriting and I think it turned out good but thanks so much for watching I really appreciate it